All right, I am back. Uh, welcome back to Destiny 2 Boogaloo, uh, the game that removes almost as much content as it adds. Now, uh, I have been playing the piss out of this during the summer. I am at almost 500 hours since June, despite owning the game since like 2017. I hadn't really played it until recently, so I've gotten almost all the exotics, done almost all the raids, done almost all the content. Like, your boy been bo grinding this hardcore. We out here real gamer shit today, but. That's beside the point. For the first thing, I'm realizing that I have uh, the music off. Probably want to turn that back on a little bit, at least a little bit, and turn these back up a little bit too to like their normal levels. Um, so I'm a Titan Maid. Now, if you are like have been around here for any amount of time, you'll know that's not shocking the slightest. But uh, I'll explain to you if you don't understand the mindset of being a Titan Maid. Being a Titan main is not about being dumb. I know there's a meme about being like small brain eat crane, your dir -dir -dir -dir, and I'll play into it. Titan go bonk, just apex meme. I have other Titans I play with, and we're running around meleeing. I did a full melee run through of the Shadow Keep campaign. My first playthrough of it was about two hours long because we ran around abusing melee builds and broke it. And um, as someone who uh, likes melee and Titans, the mod instrumental skull for it would kind of pop into mind because it's the premier mod for that shit. But I couldn't get it to drop. Despite being the mod that I most wanted for Titans since day one, it wouldn't. It was the very last, not just Titan mod, random drop mod. That was the very last one I got, which just sucks dick. But I'm here now. I have it. I'm here to demonstrate some builds I got for it. Uh, and uh, real quick, this is not a build. A video for like veteran players be like, oh, that's a really neat concept. I hadn't heard before. Titan punch things. What the fuck I do? Like, no, it's. I mean, come on. You already know that. Don't don't. If you're in the comments being like, yo, this is a best that the bad that the blatant but the blatant build no one knows about. This is mostly me just talking about shit I found out recently as a a relatively new player who's been having a lot of fun with this. So, if you have any, like, negativity, you can take it somewhere else. I really just don't have time for that shit. Uh, but I'm always down for you calling me a dumbass in the comments, because that makes my, uh, makes me feel nice. We called that. I get off on that shit. So, if you really want to be uncomfortable, call me an idiot in the comments, and, uh, I'll moan softly as I read them. So, in the builds. Uh, this entire build I got going on revolves around one thing, and that is Code of the Juggernaut for a striker class. Code of the Juggernaut has three very good perks and one that I'm not going to use. First one is Reversal. Melee kills give you health regen. It's very simple. Could you fuck off? Who shot me? Who the fuck shot me? Oi! Square up. I'll dab on your nun. Alright, they're gone. Second one is Frontal Assault. You kill an enemy with this web ability, or if you melee an enemy with this one, it will reload. It will reload your weapon and give you more weapon damage. Basically, like a built-in uh, swashbuckler and a built-in grave robber. Very strong. Very strong. Um, and then knockout. Basically, if you melee someone, you're gonna inactivate this. This is very easy to proc. You hurt somebody any amount. You break their shields. Anything, and this activates. This will be active basically non-stop, and you just get better range and melee damage. Better range and melee damage is always good, and this stacks with 1-2 punch and synthesis. You guys not- this is not where I want to be. I don't want you guys to be around me yet. I'm gonna kill you later. Kill you later. Okay, so let's talk about exotics now. First one is obviously Skull Fort. Skull Fort is great. It basically means that when you get a melee kill with your melee ability, it gives you health regen and melee energy. And that does, I mean, the half of it is kind of covered by reversal, but, you know, it's, it's a moot point. Mainly you want that that uh, energy. And there's a neat little gimmick with it. Whereas, if you don't get the kill with the ability, and you waste it, because, you know, the... Could you... Just, just buzz off. And we're going hypothetical. If you melee something big, and you don't kill it with the melee ability, and I'm trying to find something to melee... But everything will die in one shot, sadly. Could you... Could you... Oh! There we go! I didn't... It, it hit him and the other guy killed him, so it disappeared. I s God, dude. I need you to stop killing things for five seconds. Sometimes, when you get melee kills... It's back! 
I do believe it's, um, I believe it's knockout, if I had to guess. Because knockout kind of, like, empowers your melees. But effectively, just get melee kills. As long as you've, uh, front, uh, in spawn of a skull fort, as long as you're killing people with your melee, you're going to have full magazines and extra damage. The next step for this is we're going to be looking... Go away. We're looking at our weapons. And weapon-wise, it's very simple. We have this here. Nigma's Draw. Not an amazing weapon, not a bad weapon, but it's got Grave Robber and Swashbuckler. You are getting diminishing returns from Grave Robber and the perk, and you're getting diminishing returns somewhat from Swashbuckler and the um, frontal, uh, frontal Assault. That is true, but it still is very good. You could run something else instead of Grave Robber, but it's to make sure that even if your buff is inactive for some reason, if you get a melee kill, you're going to reload your gun. And if you get a melee kill, you're going to get all your buffs. It's just for consistency's sake. And it basically, uh, you're into a lot of damage. The other option, and this is my go-to weapon always for Titan, is a 7 Seraph with Trench Barrel and Auto-Loading. Basically, I break it out, I get a melee, I shoot once, whatever's in front of me is fucking dead, I go back to this. Easy money. And let's show you. Uh, here. 1057 for a body shot. Could I please... Dude, my guy, you need to chill. We need some non-suiciders for a second. Any takers. I'll go kill some Cabal real quick. I believe it's something like an 80% damage increase on melee kill with this, as long as I have Frontal Assault active, which I always will, as I showed earlier. Alright. So, 872, get the melee kill. Uh, one, I think it was... Can you get, can you yeah, 1394. That's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage for a handgun, a sidearm. Decent fire rate. The stability is very nice with frontal active, so there's just nothing but pros with this. Um, with the shotgun, uh, if I can find a means to show you, I will, but honestly, these lower level uh, escalations aren't great. This is the only content I was really thinking I felt like running right now, because I don't have long to record this. Um, boop. and then we come over and we just, that's a lot of damage. Wow, he's dead. Holy shit. All right. It's simple. You melee something and you'll activate one of two buffs. Either trench barrel. Here. Look. The shotgun already does a lot of damage. So it's, it's overkill for anything here. But in higher level stuff, this build will easily go through something like, say, Prestige Leviathan. Which is somewhat higher level content. I used this last night for it and it works. So basically, you melee something, you get your melee back with this, and then you activate your buffs, and you can chain that infinitely. So what's the other build? Well, the other build ditches Skull Fort for Syntheseps. Syntheseps' range and damage buff does stack with Knockout, which is just amazing. And then you're going to run Monte Carlo, which is going to give you your melee back in lieu of the other one. Uh, the same damage buff stacking does apply with the Monte Carlo's damage buff. Uh, Monte Carlo basically has a built-in... Um, Grave Robber and um, Swashbuckler, which is nice. So look, decent DPS, you get a melee kill, nuke machine. It's, it's that simple. But the big thing is the ability to just run around at Mach 8 and punch things and do a lot of damage while we're at it. That was 20,000, right? I believe it was 20,000 right there. 12,000, just constantly regening health. And then when things get rough, you break out this, and you go right back to swinging. Uh, it's simple, it's effective. Uh, the damage is overkill for anything but Grandmaster Nightfalls, and even then, it, it'll still do, like, good chunk damage. Oh, fuck, you are scary. You're a bad man. I don't like you. Let's punch. And I'm dead. So, yeah. In short, that's that one. That's the, easily the simplest of them. Use sympathy steps to use a lot of melee. Melee until you can't melee anymore. And then when there's too many enemies to melee, you activate your buffs, break out the rifle, and mow them down. Real simple. Uh, and then the last one, and my favorite one for the memes, is going to be a 1-2 punch Hawthorns, which I believe is the highest damage shotgun with 1-2 punch on it, with full choke, accurized rounds, which is the role I have, uh, everything but underdog for this is just amazing, by the way. And then we're going to be running the same build. 
And the idea is, I need ammo first, so if you could give me ammo, please. Anyone have ammo? I don't have, I don't, I don't have time for this. I need ammo. There it is. The whole idea is I need more than one enemy at a time. All right, you guys will do. Yeah, no, he's gonna kill me anyway. The idea is you activate, no. You know what, go away. I'm gonna go over here for a second. You can suck my dick. My, my dude, you need to... These dudes are just too efficient at killing. Alright. We hit him with the whole shot, and then we hit him, and we do thousands of damage. In the melee. Uh, with full choke, at getting the shit procced is very easy. Normal melee does 4,000. We did 32,000 the other shot. So, um, yeah. There is a way to get 100,000 plus if you, like, really want to, but I don't know if it's, like, worth it. It is it is totally doable, but uh, it, it's not worth it. Like, the damage you'll do with this will nuke bosses. You don't even need guillotine this shit. Like, it's that strong. Um, that's about all the time I got for today. Uh, I just want to show off some of these builds I was doing and I've been experimenting with in destiny i've been having a great time and i would suggest if you haven't played it recently to get back into it because it's just a fun game just, just lots of fun shit dies and yeah uh if you do and you play titan and you need a clan uh hit me up i've got a whole ass clan we got some titans but we could always use more because titans uh there's never enough titans now my dog's going crazy so maybe this is a great time to say my adieu uh, thanks for watching, like, comment, sub, all that shit, because it makes me feel nice inside, and I will give you a cookie if we hit 100,000 subs. Uh, that's it. Bye.